there it goes. Something in that pressure diet. I'm gonna look into those parts. I'm gonna check this, uh, of course, check the screw. Something's not cycling with this thing. Hey, we're Jenny and Rich, and our stowaway is Twitchell the Marina Cat. We've been documenting the refit of our 1977 Tayona 37 Ramble On for the past several years. I don't think there's a single part of this boat that we haven't repaired, replaced, or improved in some way. We're proud to say we've done 99.9% .9 of the work ourselves. We've gained a lot of knowledge and experience in the process, and we're happy to pass that wisdom on. So I am going to take apart the water pump. Um, there are, looks like, eight screws on the back, and we'll see what we can see. Mystery not solved. Like everything else on the right there. <laughs> it's all a mystery. That piece? That piece? It must be in the pressure switch, allowing water to get through the pump. Well, there was a thing about the bypass, I read. You know how this go back, goes back together? No. <laughs> well, this goes in here, obviously. Yeah. There's Maybe. nothing wrong in here. No, but I think... You almost got it. There it is. So there's a little bit of crusty, just some goop. Not much. Mm -mm. Not enough to make it fail. But it might make it a little sticky so that it doesn't operate. So same thing, there's another diaphragm in here. Breaker's on. And when I let off this pressure switch, which goes right to there, it works. Because it has good suction. It's like a lift water like six or seven feet. Don't you put your finger over the other side. Yeah, I put the, I put, tested the pressure side and blew out this diaphragm. So it works when it's taken apart. It just doesn't work when it's put back together. Put it back together. Shut off. It should, seems like it would shut off if I uh, put pressure on this side. Like block it off. Oh, what the hell is that? That's really weird. Spare. And we tested it, not one works. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I just plugged it in and it worked. So let me turn off the breaker. Yeah, go ahead and pull the breaker. So we've been having a lot of problems with the water pump lately. Um, it seems like the there's a check valve in it that seems to be failing and it's probably due to all the hard water issues that we have around here. 
it's been cycling weird it won't prime and lately uh, we've been having issues where the pump is allowing water to fill up the tank like reverse flow and fill up the tank when we're on hose pressure overfill yeah like overfill like it's coming out the vent pipe and spilling out the lid and running the bilge pump yeah running the bilge pump took the pump apart you had to order a new kit so ordered a new head unit kit on that thing and then uh we're going to put it back together, but I'm filling up the water tanks right now after we cleaned, changed the filter and cleaned out the, the dock water hose. So also we have a, uh, one of those bladder tanks, um, that keeps the, uh, keeps the pressure consistent within the, uh, pumping system. And that doesn't seem to be taking on air. So I'm going to open that thing up and investigate that a little bit today as well. Usually you just hit it with a couple of pumps on a bicycle pump and, uh, that keeps a surge from happening. Uh, the biggest thing, the problem is, is this paltry water pressure that we super weak water pressure. And this is why we switched over to just using our tanks. Yeah, we get that that aqua cool puts out like sixty psi. We run two faucets wide open and take a shower at the same time, and we've got good water pressure. Yeah, this is just terrible. It just yeah, it just pumps our tanks dry pretty quick. It's been like two weeks. Um, we've been on using the three and a half gallon pump and it's been working fine, I guess. Although it, it kind of pulses a little bit. We don't know why. But anyway, so this is the five gallon pump and we got, we still aren't positive what's wrong with it, I don't think. But, um, we got some stuff here. We got a valve assembly kit. We've got... Check valve kit, which goes inside here. For some reason, I don't think this comes with it. And this is the whole um, something switch kit. So we're going to take that pump, the three and a half gallon pump out. We're going to rebuild this one, which is going to be awful because we have to. Well, I guess there's new, you have to put new crimps on it. It has its own wiring, so we have to redo these. And hopefully that'll fix it. Oh, we also need, to, we have an expansion tank and uh, typically when it kind of acts wonky, we add some air to it with a bicycle pump and we can't add even add any air to it. So we need to take that out and see why not, what's going on. It's actually empty. So the bladder might be broken again, which happened once before. So when we ordered the check valve kit, um, it specifically says it does not come with the, what's this thing called? It's the check this, valve. This is the check valve in here. And we ordered this piece. It says it doesn't come with that, which seemed odd to us. So we ordered a separate one, but you can tell it's in there. So what, that was just, it's, I guess we just have a spare now. All right. So it comes with a little O-ring. Looks like it just goes in here. It. I had to cut some wires from this old head unit because one of the wires is directly into the back of the motor housing right here and I didn't want to you probably take it off and figure out how to hook it into the actual motor um, but I didn't want to mess with the back plate so I just crimped it or cut it and crimped it. It came actually supplied with two uh, waterproof heat shrink crimps so uh, yeah, this thing's ready basically to give it and put it back in and give it a test drive. If we end up having to dip into this spare parts bin for this for this diaphragm thing that goes in between the pump and the head, then I guess we'll take it all apart. We'll take it all apart again. I'm just trying to get all the water out of the expansion tank, but I think it's entered into the air chamber. At some point the bladder tank had ruptured and it looked like it was like there you go. So the water and the air seem to be sharing and commingling together. Where they shouldn't. Right. They're supposed to be separated by a rubber bladder or a rubber diaphragm. Brought it out once before. Because we have shady water. Don't say here. that. Because we have what? Because we have less than less optimal. Than pristine water <laughs> around here. I'm gonna pull these bolts off and see what it looks like. Uh, dun dun dun. Yeah, they done. Just like pull it out. 
It doesn't look bad. Maybe it just has a hole in it. Oh, no, it doesn't. So... We put... I gotta... So I'll pre-charge this thing. It looks... I mean... Ooh. It looks pretty slimy inside. I'm gonna wash it out. That normally has water in it or air? This is, this is the part that touches our drinking water. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny just threw up in her mouth. All right, I'm gonna pump this thing up before I uh, stick it back in, just to give it a just to give it a test. Cleaned out the bladder; everything looks okay. So this is 15 psi in here now, and that's probably fine. So I'll stick this back in. Hook up the big pump, sure flow that Jenny rebuilt, and then we will see if this thing pulses like it used to. So, so I have shelves in here. You know, this is a nice little storage area, but I had the shelves off when I was working on the Perkins, and then, of course, when I went to hang everything, it all fell down in the bilge. So the screws chasing for it. Yeah, found two out of three. All right, twenty minutes later, yeah, let's put this thing exactly. in. It's got to lift water six feet in here. Come sounds, on, babe. Sounds like it's doing it. It's going. Get the air out. Oh. There it is. It's okay. And yeah. it takes a minute to pressurize. Yeah. I guess the the, the purpose is to keep the the thing from just going <clears throat> like if you go Yeah, it won't do it. Yeah. But I think it was that little bypass valve, which is that tiny little just a tiny little looks like a contact lens is the, the little rubber diaphragm in that thing underneath a spring and a there's a screw that adjusts it. So anyway. That's where we're at right now. So, thanks. See you next time. Yeah, until until we meet again. Oh no. Mm -mm. No. No. That was terrible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever.